Hey, good afternoon, everybody. 60 Vet here. Thought I'd take this opportunity to create another little SketchUp video. A uh, fellow member, Eric, uh, informed me of an opportunity for carvers to get involved with, and basically it's through Wood Carving Illustrated, and they're asking members to carve uh, wood quilt pieces, which is basically a 4x4 four four inch square, uh, half inch thick piece of wood. You can relief carve, chip carve, uh, do wood burning, whatever your, your forte is. And uh, you send them the, the piece and they're going to assemble multiple, I would assume, because it sounds like a lot of people are involved, multiple wood quilts that are going to be auctioned off with the proceeds going to Japan for, for relief of their disaster. Uh, our club thought it was a good idea. We're getting involved, and there's another local club that's that's probably going to get involved as well. So uh, what I thought I would do is take the opportunity to uh, design a, a piece in SketchUp for a wood quilt. I'm not sure this is what I'm going to use, uh, but I figured I would I would do something to see what it would look like, plus give those of you that are new to SketchUp a little opportunity to, to see SketchUp uh, from the start how to do something. I, w I was really impressed with Al's chair. Uh, but I, I think it could be enhanced a little bit. So anyway, when I fire up SketchUp, first thing I usually do is I, I uh, click on this guy here and hit delete and just get rid of him just to get him out of the way. So I'm going to ro roll my mouse key in and zoom up a little bit. Uh, and then I'm going to use the square button uh, to draw a square. Okay, it doesn't matter how big you make it. Okay, just draw a square. Once you let go of the mouse, I'm going to key in 4, upper shift, quote, or double quote, comma, 4, double quote, for inches, and hit enter. So now I've got a 4-inch by 4-inch piece. Now, if you notice, it's it's way out in the distance. So when I'm not drawing uh, or, or doing, you know, using one of these tools, I usually go to the pan icon or the hand uh, and click on that. And at this point now, what you can do is you can move it left or right, uh, or you can roll your mouse key and zoom in. So, you know, as I'm moving in, getting closer, you know, I just reposition it. Now, while you're, you can go to the orbit key, but while you're on the hand or the pan, if you hold your mouse key down, you notice it turns to the orbit icon. Okay, so now I can orbit this. So as I'm orbiting it, I can zoom in. I can hold the left mouse key down and move it left to right, and zoom in, and uh, get it pretty much where I want it. Okay. Now at this point, what I usually do is I'll go into View, Animation, Add a Scene. Now you notice up here it says Scene 1. That's all you need to do unless you want it to be renamed something. So I always take right click on it, go to Scene Manager, and then call it something rather than scene one. In this case, I'll call it top view. When you're designing woodworking, you may have a bottom view, a side view, uh, angled view, or whatever. So I like calling it. Oops. I like calling it something so that I know what. Got to hit enter. What that uh, that view is. So now, if I were to move this over here or, or turn it like that, if I just hit top view, it'll bring me right back to where I where I was. So just reorients the drawing. Okay, so we got a four by four inch square. At this point, what I need to do is I need to make it a half inch thick. Now, if you notice, it's it's just flat. So turn it on a little bit of an angle, click on the push-pull tool, and pull it up. Hold your mouse key down, okay, and then just, just pull it up to wherever you want. And then you just key in one slash two for a half inch, and now you have a half inch piece of wood, okay? So there's your 4 by 4 inch square, half inch thick. So at this point, what I want to do, I'll go to top view. One of the requirements for uh, the wood quilt pieces, they want 3 8 inch in from each side, a 1 8 inch hole drilled. So I'm going to use, I'm going to use the offset tool, which is this little guy, which really works great for shapes, circles, anything. And I'm going to come inside here and click and I'm going to drag it out and I'm going to get close somewhere in here. I'm just going to say 3 slash 8. So that's going to create a 3 8 inch offset from the edge all the way around. Okay. So now we know that's going to be the location for the 1 8 inch holes that we're going to drill. Alright, so now at this point what I want to do is I want to make a grid. I want to have a, a, a 6 by 6 grid. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the select tool. I'm going to select this line. You notice it turns blue. I'm going to take the move tool, go on top of it. I'm going to hold my control key down, left mouse click, and drag it over here, and then let go. Okay. Now at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to key in slash six and hit enter, and that's going to make six copies equally spaced across. Okay. A little bit more of an advanced tool or an advanced way of doing it. I could have measured it and drew each line, but it's a lot easier this way. So now I got to do the same thing going the other way. The problem is because these points, each one of these are an individual line. So when I click on that, you see just that segment gets highlighted. Okay. So what I need to do is hold the control key down, which says I want to do multiple segments. So I'm going to control that, that. I'm still holding my control key down. Okay, so I got that line across the top done. Now I'm going to go use my move tool. I'm still holding my control key down. Left click, drag this down, let go. That looks like I'm going to have an issue here. Slash six. Okay, now I've got my grid set up. Okay, so at this point, what I want to do now, I have a basic idea of what I want. I'm going to create circles in here like this. I'm only going to do this top layer, uh, and then I'll, I'll stop the video and I'll copy them down. But you'll see on the top layer what I want to do. So I've got my circles drawn in from point to point. Now I'm going to use the arc tool, and I'm going to go from that point to that point and go up an eighth of an inch. And I'm looking at that little box in the lower right, the bulge, eighth inch. Left click, left click, go to the middle, pull down, eighth inch. I'm just gonna do that all the way around here, eighth inch. Okay, so I think at this point I'm gonna stop the video. I'm just gonna pause it. And then uh, once I get all these done, I'll be back. Okay, we're back. Uh, I've got the top row done, and uh, now what I want to do is I want to uh, duplicate what I did on all these other rows. And I showed you earlier how I just used the arc tool, went from one point, left click to the end point, left click, and then just go to roughly to the center and pull it up, you know. And then you can key in one eighth or just look down at the bottom and see where the one eighth is. Uh, and that's how I drew all those. But now what I want to do is I want to I want to duplicate that down here. So rather than redrawing all that again, what I'm going to do is use my select tool. Go from uh, phone call one second. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, so I'm going to take the uh, select tool and I'm going to start up here, and I'm going to select that whole top row. And you notice they're all in blue now. And again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hold the control key down, take the move button. And usually it's easier just to start it up at a center point and grab this down. And then control key again and grab this down. And there you have it. So, you know, and, and then depending upon how you want to carve it, you know, you can you can scoop these guys out or scoop this outside or scoop them all out or you can do more or less with it. But anyway, that's uh, creating a wood quilt piece. And uh, I kind of like that pattern. I may go with this. But anyway, I thought I'd just throw that together real quick and, and show you how I go about doing something in SketchUp. And uh, that's it. Have a great day.